Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new episode of SA Masterclass. In this episode, I'm gonna shine some light on the Around the World. It doesn't matter if you've been wanting to try it or if you just wanna understand it. So let's roll that intro and get right at it. The main reason why I love this trick is that it makes people think. When you first might see it, you know there's something wrong, but you're not exactly sure what it is. Looking at this drone perspective, you can really see why this trick is so special. Once you loop the kite, the kite comes in a position where the wind is coming from one side and the lines are pointing straight at it. I mean, what the f <laughs> That's why I really love this trick. It makes people think and it does something out of the ordinary. So now that you know what's so special about this trick, let's go into the details. First of all, let's talk about apparent wind. Because to do this trick, you need a lot of apparent wind. And if you didn't know yet, you can create apparent wind by generating a lot of speed. If you go faster than the wind downwind, you create wind from the other direction. And that means that your wind window becomes endless. So now let's talk a little bit about the gear you'll need. For this trick, I prefer writing very short lines. I write about 14 meter lines, even though I started doing this trick with 10 meter lines. But on the 10 meter lines, I often find that the pull you'll get is too explosive and it's really gonna launch you off your foil when you pull that loop. So now, why are shorter lines better? Because if you take yourself as a middle point and we're gonna draw a small circle around it, you can see that that small circle doesn't take a lot of time. If we take a bigger circle, it's gonna take a lot more time for that kite to go around and complete the loop. So now let's talk about the foil. The foil is a very important aspect of this trick. I ride the Levitas Cruiser because that wing is fairly big so I can ride at low speeds, but it's a very fast profile. It goes to, let's say 50 kilometers an hour, which is very fast for a thousand square centimeter foil. Why? If you have a foil that's too slow, you're not gonna successfully be able to overtake the wind and therefore you're most likely gonna get slack lines and the kite's gonna crash. So now that you know this, let's go into the step-by-step -step guide. So ride in with speed at a crosswind angle with your kite high in the wind window. We're gonna pull that kite into a down loop and then we're gonna follow it downwind so it doesn't yank us straight off the board. You're gonna depower slightly as the kite exits the original wind window and we're gonna send the kite across that wind window. Go for a slow toe side turn while you keep steering your kite up as it will want to fall down. And then we're gonna go into a very sharp toe side turn and follow the kite so it doesn't yank us off the board. Edge to crosswind and ride it out. So let's have a closer look at this trick and see how our weight is positioned on the board. When you initiate your down loop, make sure to shift your weight to the middle of the board so you don't resist. And now comes a moment where we're gonna put more front foot pressure when your kite exits the wind window. Why? You're gonna be pulling the kite from this moment on, so you have to resist and prepare a little bit for that. Then comes a moment where we're gonna prepare for a very sharp turn as the kite is starting to enter the wind window again. Make sure you keep steering the kite up and now comes the very sharp toe side turn. Why sharp? Because the kite is gonna start pulling and when the kite starts pulling, you really want to follow that kite. Now edge towards a crosswind direction and enjoy the feeling of riding it out. So just as in my previous episode, I've added a screenshot. I'm very sorry if it looks a little bit chaotic, that's the nature of this trick, but take a screenshot, take it with to the beach, Go try it out. For now, we're also gonna have a look further in a drone shot I actually took of this trick and how you should edge to get the right tension in your lines. So let's have a look at this trick from a completely different angle. The bird's eye view. The white line indicates the path of the rider where the black line indicates the edge of the wind window. We're gonna start by following the kite downwind in a loop and you have to go straight downwind as the kite exits the wind window. After this, we're gonna go for a slow toe side carve that gets tighter and tighter. In the end, 
when the kite enters the wind window, you want to go for that super tight turn and follow the kite. Now you'll see that this trick has a slightly different exit. You can either go left or you can go right, depending on your personal preference. So here's another screenshot from the drone's perspective. Take it with to the beach. The yellow arrows is the flying direction of the kite, where the black line attached to it is the angle of your lines. Now let's have a look at the possible mistakes somebody can make when doing this trick. One mistake that actually happens quite often is generating too much speed and not being prepared for it. Obviously when you down loop a kite it generates a lot of power and if you just come slightly out of the surface like you see in this video you're gonna crash. But don't worry that kite is gonna come around nicely just make sure you don't get tangled in the lines and then you can relaunch and give it another try. So another moment when it often goes wrong in this trick is when the kite enters the wind window again and you have to go for that very tight turn. Try not to fly too high as your wing might come out and that will definitely put you off balance. And try to make the turn as quick as possible. If you're getting launched off your foil all the time, that means you're not turning quick enough. So really go for that quick turn, try to stay low to the water for that extra stability and then you can ride it out downwind. And that's it. I hope you have a better understanding of this trick now. And maybe you're even tempted to give it a try. Go out there. I can really recommend it. It's a fun trick to try. If you want to try another trick, check this tutorial I made about the hand dragged blind. And then I would say, I hope you liked the video. If so, give it a like. Comment on the next tricks you would like to see. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. See you on the next one.